Good morning, everybody. Hello, how are you? Happy Friday. I hope it is beautiful where you are because today is a gorgeous day. I'm in my studio today because it's summer and kids are home today. So here we go. Um, this week's blog I knew would either attract or repel some people. And honestly, that's what you want. You want people to be either, nope, that's not for me, or I, I like that. I like that person and this week was one of those blogs um, and I it wasn't planned but last weekend I had somebody say to me something that dug a little bit and I'm sure we've all had people in our circle say some things that are hurtful right hi Carla and the um, what it comes down to, right, is that hurtfulness is because those people mean something to us, right? If it was Joe Schmo across the street just saying, you don't have a real job or your job's not professional, he'd be like, yeah, whatever. But it's because that inner circle of people, it hurts. And um, that's something that we just, you know, have to accept that that people are gonna do that. I'm sure I've heard people with words I've said. Actually, I know I have, I don't think I know. Um, and the other reason those comments may dig a little bit deeper in us is because inside us, we might feel that they're right. Um, believe me, I doubt my work validity, you know. I, you know, could I make more someplace else? Could I have this? Could I, you know, you guess, at least I do, I second guess myself of where I am in my life and could I be further if I chose a different path? Um, and all those things, you can play those games in your head. Um, so those are two big reasons, at least in my opinion, that things hurt when people say, cutting things about our work or um, the validity of our work. <clears throat> so how do I work on it? So I'm sharing with you how I do it um, because I'm 42 and this is a constant struggle for me, okay? I'm a very emotional person, um, pretty passionate, <laughs> pretty fired up. When somebody pisses my mom, I, I kind of let loose. So um, <clears throat> I really put boundaries. Okay, so I gave you some examples. The first one was from my ex-husband. Um, the comment about you know, having a professional job. That, mm, mm. Um, the one about sit yourself down in a corporate job for 20 years. That was my mom. That was really hurtful. I've been dancing all my life, but she's like, you need to get yourself a professional job and sit your ass there for 20 years and get benefits. Ouch, ouch. So putting boundaries on those people, putting boundaries on people in our circle that you're like, okay, I, kn I know when I hang around that person in this setting, this kind of comes up, so I need to make sure I'm not around in that setting. Or I know that person is gonna try to dig and I need to set boundaries by not responding for 24 hours or I need to just email that person. Um, so tactical strategies where like, okay, I know I know what happens and sometimes for me especially it takes multiple times to be hit across the head to be like why do I keep putting myself in those situations okay so put it back on us we cannot control them how can we control our um, mind mind body mind body and soul and heart um, in our circle so that's what I do I um, Physically, you know, my mom is more than welcome at my house, but I know that when I'm by myself with my mom, it's not the best. But if I circle myself with other people in the room, it's a little safer. Um, back to the inner belief of what we might believe about ourselves. What, like Brene Brown, what's the story in our head that we're telling ourselves? Okay, the cut about a not professional job. Do I sometimes believe that? Do I second guess, you know, should I really get a real job? Like I'll say it to myself, maybe I should just get a real job. What's the story in my head that I'm telling? And then taking it the step further by saying, what evidence around me, what is the evidence around me showing me that that's not true? Okay? I do have a professional job. It's a business. It is 
professional in the way I treat my clients, in the way I coach my clients, in the way I attract business, in the way I am represented in the community, it's the way I run my business. I am extremely professional. And I need to pick up on that versus the attacks from that source. So find the evidence in your in your in what's around you, you know. You could say you're broke. But are you? Okay, where's the evidence of that? Okay, maybe you don't have as much in your bank account, but the evidence, you pay your bills on time, you're able to give away, you donate, you, um, other things, okay, now, now I just lost it, but the, the evidence of stuff around you, okay? So those are two big tips that I just wanna help you there. Maybe you know them, maybe you just need to be reminded, but some other things. Now in the blog, if you go back and read that, on the bottom, in the very bottom, I say um, a special thing or click on there. It's not the download, it's down on the bottom like to, to share it with your people. There is a video from the Tony Awards. I'm sorry, I watched it twice and then I started crying the second time too because it's so true. And um, I'm gonna give you five things that you can do right now. So that one, number one is surround yourself. And he says it so well, he's 73 when he accepts his Tony. I mean, come on. But he says, surround yourself with people that light up when you walk in the room. And I just like lost it because I'm like, yes, those are the people you need to surround yourself with. Yes, they may light you up. People say surround yourself with people that light you up. And of course you want that. But when you walk in the room and they light up, that takes it to another level. And so when he said that, I just, oh yes, I'm emotional about it. So surround yourself with people that light up when you walk in the room. Number two, this one is a, Thing everybody tells you to do and it's daily affirmations and I do these a couple different ways but I really find that writing down like literally writing down I have it in my calendar too but then I kind of skim over it but affirmations like I am a successful business owner raising blah 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 doing this charity giving this to charity putting this you know whatever whatever it is for you it could be a short simple thing I'm a go-getter or something, but the more specific, and I write it out, when I write it out and I just fill up a page in the morning and just kind of meditate on that, and it's just meditating by writing it, that really does something for me. So there's different ways to do it, it uh, you know, so doing that. Number uh, three, read, fill your mind with good stuff. When I'm having a, in a funk, I will find myself, I need to go for a walk, put on a podcast or read a book, listen to a book, I listen to books, um, just to A, get away from that toxic energy and just fill myself with, okay, what can I do next? Or how is, I listen to a lot of business stuff. So taking it to the next step. Okay, forget that. I'm walking forward, drilling forward, going forward. Number four, serve others. Um, this comes from my pastor. Um, I'm a woman of faith and they, you know, when you're kind of in a funk or you just can't get out of it, um, go serve, go do something and just kind of puts it in perspective of how you are blessed or we are blessed. Number five, <laughs> we all need a good girlfriend. <laughs> Find a good girlfriend, um, to talk to, to, um, I have a couple girlfriends, but um, one that I, we are both business owners, um, doing it, juggling kids, and uh, we walk probably three or four times a week, and that is a huge gift just to bounce something off and let it out and do that. And if you need more, um, more than that, then um, obviously get a counselor or a therapist to help walk you through this journey of where you're at. But um, just being really obviously very vulnerable because this stuff really still attacks and it's kind of like that little mm, that you're like, come on, I was doing so good and then that little jab will come and it just kind of sets you back a little bit. And I know we all have those moments. So um, I wrote down quickly what I do and try to do and when in doubt, twist it and make it a good post.
twist it to make it work for you rather than hold you back make it work for you and that's what I chose to do this week so um, thanks for watching hit reply um, or hit replay if you watch the replay um, Mark asked me with questions boogie fit curriculum is going to be opening up its membership August 15th uh, to the public some of you have downloaded that in the past um, and August 15th is when it opens up to the public again you can hear the kids in the background um, and if there's anything I can help serve you with um, this group is meant for people who want to bring their dance to the online world or business coaching um, if you're starting out or kind of just needing a little business coach here and there. Um, let me know what um, excites you or what you are struggling with right now. All right. Happy summer. Here we go. Peace. Bye-bye.